back a scar. Hello from Manchester, UK. Is there a is there a lack of appreciation for the engineers of yesterday who designed the tech that today's products are built on? Oh, I guess there always is in many respects, but well, a, a lot of us like to celebrate the Bob Peasers and the Jim Williams and the Hans Kamenzins of of the world, which is great because they, you know, designed the chips and whatnot that we use all the time to develop our products. But uh, yeah, there's just so many engineers that have just, you know, unnamed engineers, countless, hundreds of thousands of them, millions of them, that have just designed and built products in the background over the years. Like, you know, like, just take this, right? This is, I think it's, um, Siemens, is it? I did the, this as a, uh, this was the, sent into the mailbag, right? This is like a Siemens, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, like a telecoms voice processor for an exchange, right? Something that nobody gives a shit about, but it enables, you know, your phone calls to be made and whatnot, right? Look at the complexity of this board. How many engineers? How many nameless engineers worked on this, right? How many nameless, like like the person who did this PCB layout, right? Fantastic, right? The people who worked on designing all these custom ASIC chips, right? The VHD and the Verilog engineers that worked on all the, the system architects that worked on these. The, you know, somebody, the people at, you know, they look like one of those TI modules, right? The people, engineers at TI who who made those, the people who made those chips, and these chips, these chips, these chips, hundreds of chips, right? After the, this one board is got to be the result of many thousands of engineers' work, yet this is a nothing product that they made in low volume, like by nothing. I mean, you know, nobody ever knows this exists, right? Except it might be on somebody's resume somewhere. Oh, I worked at Siemens and I developed this board at, like, <laughs> right crazy right there's just like thousands of engineers just for the capacitors on the back think of all the capacitor you know think of the engineers that work at the capacitor factory that design all the test equipment for the all the automated production and all the systems right there's probably you know 50 or 100 engineers that just work at the capacitor factory to get you your capacitors let alone everything else right this is nuts this is absolutely nuts that, you know, the amount of complexity, thousands upon thousands of engineers worked on, uh, you know, worked in unison, unknowingly worked in unison to get just this one board. Even something simple, like the tech that goes into this calculator, for example. Like, you know, it's just nuts. So yes, underappreciated. See, that's the thing. Like, imagine... You know, working at a company, working on that, you can spend years. An engineer probably spent years de developing the, you know, the VHDL and, and develop these custom ASICs and stuff like that. Spent years of their career just working on that one bit of silicon, that one chip, that one bit of code, right? Just for this application. Unbelievable.